Hello, hello, happy Friday everybody and welcome to my sewing room. I'm Stephanie and I am so grateful that you stopped by to watch my channel today. This is Friday Sews. A little bit of sewing, a little bit of life. I'm kind of excited. I have like too much to share and it's going to be fun. So strap in, let's go. Sewing. I have been so busy that sewing is about all I've been doing and most of it I can't even share with you. <laughs> um, I finished my collab for Michelle Sews again and it's coming out on Sunday and I'm going to show you what this became. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've seen hers. It's going to be great. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you anything else. Uh, but go check out her channel and you'll get to know her and check out her Instagram. I am in love with her Instagram. So that's coming out on Sunday and on Wednesday my Frugal Sews video is coming out. I've been looking for different things for that so I'm really excited. I've got I've got it ready to go so you'll look for that on Wednesday and so I made another t-shirt I, this is my third week to talk about t-shirts. I'm obsessed. I have nailed it. I've got my t-shirt just the way I want it. And it's too much to tell you on Friday Sews. And um, some of you actually helped me so much with the comments and where to go for information. And it worked. So you know who you are. And um, I'm just excited to share that it deserves its own video coming soon. I'm going to show you all the different things I put into this t-shirt. This is one of them. I did a flutter sleeve. Isn't this cute? So I found a video and I'm going to tell you about it in my t-shirt video about how to make a flutter sleeve. I also did my um, woolly nylon rolled hem because I thought that just made it even more fluttery. Um, I didn't do it on the hem, just on the sleeve. And I'm really can't wait to show you how good my V's are, my little V's. And now I don't want anything round neck anymore. <laughs> I just love that V. Um, okay, I make notes because I got stuff to tell you. Oh my goodness. So t-shirts, collab, I said all that. Frugal Flip said that. Oh, okay. So I got my hair did. I got my hair done and I drive all the way to the city, Sacramento, to get it done. And when you're down there, you do other things. And so I thought I would run by. I can't even tell you this. You're just going to just laugh. I had to go to a fabric store. <laughs> now, the reason, I had a reason. I need to buy fabric to be able to use fabric. So... If you follow me, you know that I like to make a muslin out of cheap fabric, like something I didn't spend a lot of money on. And then if it works, turns out I've got a garment, right? Like my too tight t-shirt. I'm still going to wear that. Um, so I thought I really want to use my designer fabric from my designer haul. You maybe saw that. And I went to high fashion fabrics where they have really great prices in Sacramento. And um, I wanted to buy fabric that matched a couple of pieces I want to use so that it could be my test dress. I'm just going to show you what I got. Hold on. Okay. All right. This is the designer fabric I want to use. And I thought, it's so pretty. I don't want to make something I don't like. So I'd rather have a test garment to see if I like the pattern or not. And I had a pattern in mind. I'm, I'm going to grab that too. Hold on. I have a question. Do you fall in love with a pattern? You think you're in love with the pattern, but really it's the fabric in the garment that they're showing? So that's what I'm not sure about in this pattern. Do I just love this fabric or do I love this garment? So basically it's just a straight dress with a, a seam down the center and then it flares. And if it's, if it's not too big in this area, I'll probably like it. But if they start the flow right here and it just gets really big, I don't like those. It needs to fit the body a little bit, but it also needs to slip over the head, so I don't know. Um, and it has these cool, cold shoulders, and I really thought this would be cute. And it kind of is similar to this fabric. So I went to High Fashion and I bought this because it has the same kind of drape and feel to it. And if it looks good in this, then it'll look good in, in, in this. Does that make sense? So this is Butterick 6350. Have you made it? 
I don't know, it looks cute. And I wasn't going to do the ruffle, but my daughter wore a dress to church the other day that had a ruffle on it, and I thought, how oh, cute that ruffle was. It was a little shorter than this, so I would probably do it at the knee and maybe still try to get a ruffle on there. I don't know. We'll see. I have plenty of fabric to test on. And then because I was in there, I grabbed a couple more pieces. This is so cute, and it was only, using my tag, um, four dollars a yard so I got a whole bunch of it but honestly it's very like see-through-y so I don't know would I actually like make a dress because I don't know can you see through this I was thinking in the store that it seemed kind of like see-through but sometimes it's hard to see through when it's a busy pattern like this what's your opinion um I thought I might make this if this turns out I might make this out of this uh-oh I lost my beautiful rolling I think I got it. Did you see my video on the cute tags? If you didn't, you should go look. It's pretty fun. So now all my fabrics have all the info. And this one, I don't even want to show you because it's going to be a project very soon. And I just wanted a big bold print. And this one has a story. So I was getting this because it had a big bold print. And the lady was saying it's a designer. And I thought, well, okay. Yay! She goes, no, designer. She signed it. Her name is on here. So she's like, and I'm like, what are you looking for? And she goes, it's, she signed it. It's here somewhere. And I'm like, she's autographed it. So I'm going to find it. Oh, okay. I'm back. <laughs> it took me a while to find it. Okay. See that little scribble right there? It says Trina, and I can't remember her last name. I'm gonna put it in text because I don't remember her last name, but um, it's Trina something. And um, so she does these big bold prints and she said, um, you know, it's hard for me to get it, to buy it because she doesn't let go of these prints until it's like really old, like 10 years old. I'm like, I don't care how old it is, I love this fabric. And she goes, well, I've got more. So she walks around the store and showed me some more fabric and I said, I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one. And she's like, you like this lady designs, don't you? And I said, apparently I do. I'm gonna show you the rest that I already had of this Trina lady. And we're gonna look for those signatures too. Hold on. Oh. Trina, I'll be back. Trina. I had this designer I'm in love with and I didn't even know it. And I have one more. I'm just gonna show you a picture of the finished garment because I already made it, it's not in my stash, but um, I just think that's funny. So I think she thought that was funny too because I guess I like this designer. She does these big, bold prints that I just love, come on. So I, now I'm motivated to make those more than ever. Uh, and this one is already planned. It has a plan. So I can say no more about that. Robin. I think it's going to be my Robin dress that we're doing together. So I am going to look at my notes. Okay. I was actually telling a story when I got sidetracked by the fabric. So I went to the fabric store. That's the end of that. And I thought, I don't know, since COVID, I don't have the stamina to go places. I just get too peopled out. And I'm done. We've been talking about this and I know there's others of you who feel the same way I do. So, you know, where I used to go maybe five or six places when I was in town or, you know, down there, I might want to go one or two. And so here I was at my two limit, my hairdresser and my fabric store. And I thought, I think I want to go one more place. Woohoo! So there's a home goods on my way uh, from that area. Now, where this fabric store is not my normal shopping area. So it's like, here's Sacramento, here's me. I normally go over here, maybe down there, but this is over here. So now I'm in Sacramento, I'm over here, and I'm gonna go home this way. And on this way, there's a Home Goods. Do you have Home Goods where you are? Such a fun store. It has decorations for your house and dishes and linens it has a little bit of everything and I thought I just want to run by home goods because that would be fun so I'm walking through home goods and you know I'm finding a little bit of stuff that I don't didn't possibly need <laughs> at all but you never know you gotta have it so I bought a few things I, I thought would be fun for like spring 
got a pillow and a tablecloth nothing spectacular but it's spectacular no it is spectacular so so i'm walking along just going up and down the aisles and i get a text on my phone and i look to see what it was and it said the sewing machine store said your serger is ready for pickup ready for pickup now what's exciting about that is not just that i get my serger back woohoo not just that it's one and a half weeks so it wasn't even two let alone three like the guy thought it would be but i am in sacramento which is where it's at and for me that's a long drive and when gap gas prices i don't know where you are but gas is here is super expensive and my car is a gas guzzler so i don't i think about going just to pick up my serger is like that's kind of expensive so now i get to just pick it up while i'm already here and it's like you know i get this text and i thought i just need, i don't remember where 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 is that store it's it's down here somewhere so i go in the map and i put in the sewing machine store i was one mile away one mile so i got my stuff from home goods got in my car and went over and it's like they didn't even like they didn't even like the guy at the desk didn't even know why i was there because it was so fast like that text just went out and now i'm ready to pick it up so uh i got it back and it's all you know maintenance and uh he said it looked good he didn't see anything wrong with it or anything like that i guess i hadn't been so hard on it and um I've already been using it. It sews like a dream. And um, I didn't miss a beep because I had my son's serger that was my old one. So that's my backup. And um, I just thought it was funny. One mile. I was one mile away. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, hold on. What else do I have? Okay, I wrote this in my notes. I have no personal life right now. It's all sewing. <laughs> so I've agreed to, you know, these collabs and the, and the challenge. And it's like... Um, I, I don't usually have a deadline. I can put things off. And in fact, I was going to film something else today and I'm not going to get to it. It'll have to be tomorrow. But um, I'm going to make all my deadlines, which, wow, that's awesome. But it's all sewing, sewing, sewing. And I have other ideas that I want to get. I want to get this t-shirt video out. I'm so excited to share about that. And uh, this is next. And yeah, stuff is coming. So I have no personal life. But I did want to say, hold on. I wanted to say something. I'm going to give you a little tease. Um, I've got some trailer stuff coming and it's going to be great. Uh, great. Just great. I don't know when though. So I don't want to tell you too soon. <laughs> now, this is something I kind of really wrestled with talking about because I don't want to talk about war, you know, because this is our happy place, right? I mean, this is our happy place, my happy place, your happy place. But, um, and you know, I don't want to think about sad things when we're here in our happy place. However, I must mention this because the, you know, the, there's a war in Ukraine. I know you know that. And uh, this tag went around sewing people on Instagram. Now, I follow a bunch of great sewers, sewing people on Instagram. And this was popping up several places, like so, so other countries, this was popping up. So it wasn't just U.S. In fact, I don't think any of it was USA. So I thought I'm going to reshare this post. So basically the idea was that you could go, it, the little post, and I'm, I'm going to put um, the, the, the description in my description, and I'm putting the post here somewhere so you can see it. But basically it was instructions to go to Etsy and to go shop for only digital items that require no shipping. So it could be artwork, it could be anything, a digital file, and buy and, and shop just Ukraine. So ladies that are stuck in a war could have some extra income. And so I went through the instructions that I'm going to share with you, but I changed it from digital to sewing patterns PDF because that's what I would want to have. And that is a digital file. So I looked through, I don't know, quite a few hundreds, um, you know, just scanning, scrolling. And there wasn't a lot of garments. And um, I think I got an apron and a skirt, like a wraparound skirt. I just figured I'd spend like $35, $40. I don't know, not much. And I got something for it. And I knew it was from someone in Ukraine. So um, I got like a bunny pattern, maybe two bunny patterns, you know, like dolls, which I think are cute. And I do have, you know, a grandchild coming in June. Um, maybe another doll and then those two garments. So that's what I got. And... Um, it was just, it just felt, it felt good to do something, you know, and you don't even know. Like that person who gets this order does not know 
that I did that on purpose. How could they? You know, I, they get orders all the time, right? But this one lady wrote me back. I'm going to read it to you. Uh-oh. Pause. Okay. Her name is Yulia, and I bought... What did I buy? Okay. Okay. I'm back. Uh, so this is Yulia, and I bought an apron. It's super cute. And I, she said... Um, right at the invoice. Hello, Stephanie. I pray to God for the protection of Ukraine. Thank you for the warmth of your heart, Yulia. It's almost like she knew that I was doing this shopping on purpose right now. And so I wrote her back and I said, Yulia, you and your country are in my prayer, Stephanie. And she said, thank you so much. Praying hands, heart, heart. And I said, I hope you're safe where you are. And she said, my family went to a small village to my grandmother's house. This is an old house and no one has lived in it for a long time, but it is calmer and much better here than sitting in a bomb shelter under a house in Kiev. Thank you so much for your support. The world is so small, isn't it? And the sewing community is so big, is so big. So somebody posted that tiny little post and, you know, I did a tiny little shopping and I touched someone far away that's in such a hard time. And it's just, it was just so nice. And yes, I will post the five stores I bought from and what I bought, but you can shop yourself and the instructions are on that little post. And I'll put that in my description box if you want to do that too. Okay, I heard, you know, I don't know about you, but I buy digital patterns all the time. So... You know, you never know. I some of them I've used, some of them I haven't. But you know, I'm a collector of things. So now I have a collection of rabbits, <laughs> bunny rabbit dolls. But hey, I'm gonna download all of them, put them in my pattern file, and um, you know, when I need something like that, I'll have it. It wasn't the purpose wasn't to buy stuff that I was ready to make, just that I want want to make it someday. So I didn't buy anything I didn't want, if that makes sense to you. So I want to just say. Um, God bless you all. God bless Ukraine and, you know, the world. Pray for peace. Pray for peace. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. And I will see you Sunday and next Friday and more to come. So thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye now.